Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another session by Digital Titans and this is not going to be the Daily Digest yet. I'm going to shoot the Daily Digest in the next couple of minutes. But this is a very special session because I just received a, a customer email uh, asking me for some kind of clarification on one of the previous videos that I had made earlier. Now, I was supposed to make a video clarifying like a follow-up video on, on, one, on one of the videos that I made in the past. And that video was talking about AdWords tracking templates. Now, Google Ads tracking templates. So what I had done, uh, uh, and this is just to tell you that we have come a long way from just looking at the number of clicks, impressions, CTR, or the basic metrics of ads to understand how we are faring and how our business is picking up. Now, we have, we have moved away from that long time ago, uh, and now we are all about complicated metrics. We are all about looking at things like what tracking parameters can we use to get as much information as possible so that you can analyze exactly what is working out for you so that you can capitalize on that and, and start making uh, start scaling it so that you know the adwords uh, works out very well for you and maybe it is automation maybe about what can be automated by doing some things automatic so that you know you don't have to manually invest time effort to get the same results when they can be achieved <coughs> automatic automatically now this session is exactly going to tell you how to set up these AdWords tracking templates at the ad group level. Now the old video that I had done, not really old, the, the video that I had done earlier was at the campaign level and now this video specifically talks about how do you set up tracking templates at the ad group level. For all the people who do not know what tracking templates are, tracking templates are making your URLs or the final URLs a little more uh, powerful where you give them the flexibility to track what keyword triggered the ad or maybe what is the source of this traffic uh, what kind of keyword uh, from from which ad group triggered the ad and which campaign is responsible for the ad to show now on this keyword that people search for which is the ad that is being shown now to get that extra bit or extra piece of information which could really help you in maximizing returns from your adwords is what adwords tracking templates are all about so join me while I take you through uh, creating AdWords tracking templates at the ad group level and hopefully you will enjoy this. So let's get back. This is the screen that you see where I would be letting you know how to create a tracking template at the ad group level and hopefully it will come out well and that's where we would begin from. As the pre in the previous session, I had uh, shown you how to do it at the account level. And if you really want to look at it once again, let me show it to you quickly. So you go to campaigns, you go to the settings of the campaign or choose any campaign. Make sure you do not select your uh, dynamic campaigns or dynamic search ads because it doesn't work with that. It, it just has to be uh, search campaigns which showcase your text ads and that, that's exactly how it works. Now it is not eligible to show your tracking templates for dynamic search ads. It only shows for text ads and you should have some ads pre-existing in your account. So if you want to look at it from the account level, this is exactly how it works. Now I'm at the account level. Let me go to, I'm sorry, I'm at the campaign level. Now let me see if I can go to uh, settings of the campaign. Now I'm in the settings. Now when you go to the settings of a campaign, now let's say this is my campaign. So I select this campaign. You will see additional settings, campaign URL options. Now this is where you will see a tracking template. Now this is where you define a template. Now let us say this is where it all starts and, and this is how it would begin. Now LP URL is the landing page URL. It immediately is followed with a question mark. And if you want to track the source, which is UTM underscore source, you can say equal to, now let's say add group, close the bracket. And if you want to track more parameters, you just keep adding and UTM underscore, uh, let's say content equal to, let's say underscore add. Now these are all the predefined parameters which you can find out uh, from, from the, I mean, just do a re basic research on tracking templates and you will find these custom parameters. You don't have to buy hard these, you don't have to memorize these. Now this is where you will start entering your custom parameters and then finally you test it. Now this is how you do it at the campaign level. Now the question that I had and people who asked me specifically wanted me to get this done at the ad group level. So I am going to show you exactly that. So let's go back to the campaigns. Now TTT is my campaign. Now let's go back to my campaigns. I don't want to save anything. So I just go to campaigns. 
this is the campaign that I would want to experiment with. Now, I am at the ad group level now. Whenever you perform anything at the ad group level, remember you would need to have at least one ad in the ad group. See if you have ad in this ad group by clicking on ads. When I come here, I would have to see that there is no ad. So let's quickly create a text ad first. Uh, let's say titans.digital is my URL. Let's say it also needs to have the protocol with either HTTP or HTTPS. Now I'm just going to say titans, titans.digital. Now headline is I'm just going to say comprehensive training. I know what's wrong with my spellings today. Comprehensive training on Google Ads. Okay, I'm, I'm exceeding the character limit. Now let's change this to complete training on Google Ads. I'm just not too bothered about uh, the format and what I'm trying and the grammar and things like that because I just want to show you something else which is more important than the format of my text ads. Now headline 2, I'm just going to copy this and just going to paste it here. Now with the new headline format, you can give up to three headlines and two descriptions and Google will choose the best out of these. Okay, now I'm just going to say complete course expert trainers. Step by step practical approach. As far as the second description line goes, I'm just going to say 24 7 help. 24 7 help. What else do you want to put in? Um, I'm saying case studies, real time experiences, and more. Alright, so that, that's all it is. Now I'm just going to save a new ad. Now my ad is done. It is asking me for a protocol as I said. Let's say HTTP and just going to save this ad. Now we have not started doing anything. We, we have just not started experimenting with the templates yet. I have just created a text ad. Now the actual process will begin now. Now if you want to set up tracking parameters at the ad group level and get as much of information as possible, this is exactly how it works. Go to your ad group. Now to do that, you just have to go to your campaigns first. Now this is my campaigns and this is the specific campaign that I had in mind. Now I would want to go to the ad group level. So click on ad groups. Now test is my ad group that I have. Now when you have this ad group called test, you don't have any other uh, column. Now you need to modify columns and you need to have a column which is talking about Sorry, not attribution, you just go to attributes, you just start looking at things like tracking template and custom parameter and then you apply so that they start showing here. Now this is where you would specify your tracking template. Now as I said, the template would be this way, right, and followed by a question mark and I am going to be bothered about which campaign uh, is is the source now utm underscore campaign equal to a predefined parameter which is underscore campaign if i need to track something else i'm just going to say and utm underscore source i also want to figure out which is the ad group that that is showing the ad Add group. I also want to see UTM underscore content. All right, so we missed a equal to symbol here. UTM content equal to underscore add. I also want to add UTM underscore keyword equal to I just want to fetch a field called keyword to see which keyword triggered the ad. Now this is not going to be the keyword 
uh, that shows in your search terms report this keyword is going to be the keyword which you have included the in the account and the one which triggered your ad now once you have done this your first job is to make sure is this to test it properly if it works now when you just say test it could report you some error messages sometimes when things are not fine if there is no problem it would i mean it would return a status which says landing page found now there can be certain issues when there are it is not found and all you have to do in those cases is just copy paste the error message search on google and you will understand what exactly is the is the mistake now once i have tested now this is where a lot of people ask you questions now this is where a lot of people ask me that fine i see that the landing page has been found and tested but it, it is you know incomplete where it says utm underscore uh, keyword equal to empty i mean i don't all right so once you have done that so i have included lp url uh, question mark utm source equal to ad group now when you say test i've just kept it simple i've removed anything else and everything else just to keep it simple now when you mouse over this you will see a list of parameters but please understand it is all empty now the reason this is all empty and this is not tracking anything is because i have not entered a custom parameter now if you go to your custom parameter and you just say now the ad group value that i want to report is this which is going to be the name of my ad group or if i if i want let's say if i want something else now let's say add equal to let's say the value is one to one is something that i want to report now this is for my identification so i've just saved it now when i have saved it now when i start writing the tracking template again now let's say lp url question mark utm source equal to underscore ad group because that's the parameter which will let which will throw the value of the ad group that I want to track then I'm just gonna say utm underscore content equal to now this is the tracking template that I have written and let's see what happens when I test it when I test it and when it when it shows that it has it found the landing page now when you mouse over these are the contents where they get automatically populated you see the fiction books is the name of the value that I wanted to report and I would also look at the ad group ID which that is also reporting now this is how you would uh, test it and this is how it would actually start throwing results to you now let's say you see this when when you actually when somebody clicks on the ad and comes to your URL now it starts telling you which ad group has reported the click and what is the ad id that triggered that got triggered when people clicked on your ad now this is exactly how you would set up your tracking setup now along with this if you also want let's say to add something else now let's say i want to add a keyword associated now let us say if i say keyword say save it now I can go to my tracking template and I can say LP URL LP URL Oops LP URL and I'm just gonna say um, the UTM underscore keyword equal to underscore keyword close it say test And it starts showing you the value of the keyword that, that has been picked up. Now, this is exactly how you would set up your conversion tracking. And there are a lot of value parameters that you can also experiment with. And I think it's, it's, it gives you much, much, much more interesting information than what you uh, typically look at, which is the number of clicks and number of conversions, which is a very, very nascent or very trivial kind of information that we, uh, that we look at. Now, you can also extend this to things like, now, let's say I would want to add something else which is let's say device and let's say mobile now i want to track what what is the device which is coming so you save it right and then in your tracking parameter you can just say lp url question mark question mark device let's say device utm underscore source equal to 
underscore device and close it say save it what's wrong I'll be URL Uh, utm underscore device equal to all right now it's showing me what is a device which is doing that now this is exactly how you would set up your ad tracking parameters along with custom parameters so hopefully you have enjoyed this session and if you have any questions you can feel free to reach out to me and i'm always available uh, uh, for clarifying any questions that you may have. And thank you so much until then. This is Casey signing off. Cheers, guys.